Good evening, Wildcats. This is Mr. Hafner with an update for you. Well, we met this morning. Like we said, we were going to do on the 25th, and we decided as a good men team that we're going to come back to school. Well, we're not coming back to school quite the way you're hoping, for some of you. For others of you, we're going to take the safest approach to coming back to school that we can think of. So what we're choosing to do is doing the DPI's cohort model, they call it. So what it means is you have half your kids in on Monday and Tuesday, and the other half your kids in on Thursday and Friday. Wednesday is going to stay our teacher prep school cleaning day. So what does that really mean? Well, cohort one will be in on Monday and Tuesday. And then they'll have Thursday and Friday as virtual. Cohort two starts their week virtual on Monday and Tuesday. And then they're in person on Thursday and Friday. So what we need right now is to get this set up and running. So, on November 30th and December 1st, we're not having school. Students that owe us work, use that as a work day. Get caught up. Then, December 2nd is the school homework pickup day like we normally do. You drop off the homework and we give you the stuff that you need. So, cohort 2 is going to be the ones that get to be in school first. So, they'll be in on Thursday and Friday. Cohort 1 would be virtual on Thursday and Friday. Okay? So it's definitely a different model, but it's the next safest step to returning to school on, a, on a, like I'll say, a full-time basis. So again, Monday, Tuesday with Cohort 1, they're in school. Thursday, Friday, they're virtual. Cohort 2 is virtual on Monday and Tuesday. And then they're in person on Thursday and Friday. So, I made a letter to send out to all of you. We have it sent out, and in that letter is all of the cohorts. We split you up basically based on families. So, like, my entire family will attend either on the Monday, Tuesday, or the Thursday, Friday. I don't have half of them coming on Monday, and, you know, Grace is on Monday, and Jack's on Friday. You know, we don't do that. We're keeping the families together. So... You should get the letter in the mail either Friday or Saturday. Because with Thanksgiving, I don't know when it's going to hit. So Friday or Saturday. So again, we are going to come back to school in a safe model, cohort model. Half the kids in Monday and Tuesday, the other half the kids Thursday, Friday. Again, it's in the letter and it's spelled out pretty well. The other thing I want to remind you is we're going to do our best to stay in. But if I get staffing issues or we get cohort uh, COVID in the school again and we can't do things, we'll go back out virtual. I'm hoping that we've rolled out the wave a little bit and we're able to keep it going from this point on. So that's our attempt. We're going to do our best to stay in. I want to stay in all three weeks if possible. I'll pray until Christmas and then be ready to go after January. But again, I have no idea with people's behavior during deer hunting. I have no idea with people's behavior during Thanksgiving, so I'm hoping everything goes well. It should. I mean, we're coming back in the safest model besides being virtual that we can think of. The health department seemed okay with our attempt. The school nurse seems okay with our attempt. I'm, say, I'm saying it's okay to try this. The other thing I want to urge you is if you have a student who's struggling virtually or you don't have internet, this is the next safest thing I got for you. So maybe you want to send your kids back in school. But that's your choice. Remember, you don't have to come back. You can still stay virtual. And on that note, I want to, I want to tell you, in the letter is going to be a link. And attached to this video is going to be a link to a survey. We'd like you to go into this survey and let us know if you're coming back virtual or if you're going to come back in person. Because I want to be able to set all the cohorts and make sure I know how many people are coming in the building at a time on the various days. And again, if you want to stay virtual, just go in and stay virtual again. You're more than welcome to do that. But I just want to know. i got to recalibrate because we've been out seven, eight weeks virtual. So I want to make sure that we still have the names of who's going to be virtual and who's going to be in person. So please take the time to fill that out, out that survey and help us out because that's something we're going to end up doing on Monday and Tuesday. So we have it all ready to go on Wednesday. All right, so thank you for your patience. Again, this COVID pandemic is nothing anybody wanted. We're just trying to mitigate the risk. We're trying to do the best we can. So again, thank you.
thank you. And I do appreciate the support that you've been given me and given to our staff and our teachers. And have a happy Thanksgiving. Good night. <laughs>